All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about Microsoft Word and Google Drive. There's been a lot of changes lately, and it has been much more accessible within Google Drive. And I'm excited about some of these features because we can break free from some of the old ways that we've done it that just haven't worked real well. And so I'm going to go through some of those changes. And what we have done in the past is if someone sends you a Word document such as this, you could have downloaded it edited it and then emailed it back. That's an option. Another option would be to edit with Google Docs. And if you do that, then what ends up happening is you end up changing the format of it to Google Docs. So the other option is to just save it to your Google Drive. So that way you have it saved in there and you can make changes to it and you can share it and you can effectively collaborate. So that way you're both on the same page and you're not playing document tag. So I'm going to save it to my drive. I'm going to organize it here. I love to make sure that I organize things first thing first, because otherwise your Google Drive ends up being a mess. So I'm going to place it in a folder and then they'll say it's been moved to so and so place and I can click directly on there. It's going to take me to that folder so I can start working in this space right away. All right. Now that I'm here, you can see that it is a Word document it has a little W there. And if I try and open this, here's what happens right now. And this is the current setting for my school district. I'm going to change this in a few weeks here. So that's part of the reason for this video update is to let people know that in the past, we've used this office editing for doc sheets and slides by Google, um, and we're going to remove it. And if you have it already and you can control that, then you have the ability to remove it yourself. Otherwise, it'll say something about installed by your administrator. Um, but here's what ends up happening is you have this kind of half version of edit the Google Docs editor and seeing some tools and it's just a little hard to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'll close this out and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to first remove this extension like so. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings in Google Drive. I'm going to make sure that this is not checked. Okay? If it is checked, what ends up happening is anything that I upload to Google Drive will automatically convert to Google Docs. And that's fine if you want to edit everything in Google Docs format. That's OK. But if you're not, if you have some things that need to remain in Microsoft Word document, you're going to want to uncheck that. So I'm going to hit Done. And let's go ahead and refresh, because anytime you uninstall or change settings, um, you want to be able to start with a fresh page. I'm going to open this now, and this time, instead of opening automatically with the Office Editor, it's going to come up with a preview like this. I can choose Open With, Google Docs, and you would think that it would automatically convert it to Google Docs format, but that's just not the case. What maintain that it is a Word doc by using the .docx extension right there. All right, and so then I have the ability to edit this just like it is a Microsoft Word document. I don't have to use an external service. I can just do it directly within Google Drive. The other thing that's awesome is that I can share this document. So share this with the fake student. And the fake student just made some changes in this document and did it all from a Chromebook and did not have to utilize an outside source. Now, what's super awesome about it is that it maintains the version history of this document. So just like in Google Docs, when you click on the version history, you're able to see who made changes and at what time. And I can revert back to previous versions if need be, all while this is still a Word document. And so that version history is available there. It's also available in file and version history. And I can see the version history from that point as well. Another thing that's really awesome is what Google Drive is doing with the document if you choose to edit with Microsoft Word. And so let's say the scenario is I don't like to use Google Docs and I'd rather edit it in Word. I just feel more comfortable, but I need to collaborate. I need to keep my friend updated on the changes without doing email tag. And so let's say we have a shared folder here. I'm going to download this file. I'm going to right click on it, choose to download and I'm going to open it. It's going to open in Microsoft Word. And yes, I know that this is an old version of Microsoft Word, but you'll still get the idea. I'll save it. And the thing is, is that even though I saved it, I still need to re-upload it. So I'm going to go to File, File Upload, and I'm going to find my file and open. And here's what it's going to say. It's going to say that the documents match and I can update the existing item or I can keep them separate. 
So in this case, since I'm updating the document and I want my partner to be able to see those updates, I'm going to update the existing and it's going to save it and replace the existing one essentially. My friend here can see the update and can see that some changes were made. In my version, if I go to it, it says a newer version has been uploaded or restored. Your changes have been saved in version history. If I dismiss that and I check out the version history, even though I downloaded it and re-uploaded it, it's going to show me the version history of what happened. And I can see that it was imported from Microsoft Word. And so that also maintains a lot of integrity as far as being able to go through the history, see what changes were happening within a document space. The last thing I want to show you is that you still do have the capability of editing these in Google Docs. So this is still a docx format. What if I want it to be a Google Doc format? Well, I can do that. And there's a reason why I would want to, because there's one major feature that is missing with this editor, and that's the ability to use add-ons. So if I have add-ons that I use, I can still go to File, Save as Google Doc. The thing is, is that it's going to save a separate document altogether. And you can see the difference between the two. So this one's Word, this one's Google Docs. And also Microsoft Word documents take up storage space in Google Drive, whereas Google Docs versions do not. Now these do not sync with each other. So these are two totally separate documents now, but you can see that I now have access to add-ons. So if I'm in absolute need of an add-on and want to use it, I have to have it in Docs format. And in the Word version, the add-ons go away. So just keep in mind that if there is an add-on that is absolutely necessary to a document, you still need to do it in Google Docs. If not, you can maintain the integrity of that document and keep it as a docx. So that way it's easily downloadable and uploadable into Google Drive from Microsoft Word. Those are some exciting features. Just make sure that you uninstall the Office Editing Extension if you haven't done so. Also make sure that you change your settings in Google Drive to make sure that you maintain the Word document status by unchecking this box. I found this video extremely helpful.